What's up, party people in a place to be? Welcome to another Sling Slang Reviews. Today, we will be reviewing Black Panther. Panther. Panther, 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 Panther. Ah, yes, Black Panther, number one, dropped today. I don't know if you all know that. I'm trying to put you on so you can go grab a copy, pass it down to your nieces, nephews, sons, daughters, grandchildren, etc. It's going to be a big deal. Uh, Black Panther is also making his cinematic debut in Civil War. So that's going to also create interest in Black Panther. And in addition, the big reason I wanted to cop this comic is the author. The author is Tanahisi Coates, who authored the New York Times bestseller Between the World and Me. He's actually the comic book writer for Black Panther. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see what he do with it. You know what I mean? Um, also, we have a we have black artists in Brian Stelfreeze, and we have a female color artist in Laura Martin. It's a very diverse group Marvel put together to tell this story about Black Panther, and I'm anxious to see what they do with it. Um, uh, to not drop any spoilers, I'll just tell you that Black Panther is in it. Um, his stepmother, Ramon, Ramonda, Ramonda, Ramonda is in it. Uh, the Dora Milaje, the Black Panther's ancient female bodyguards, they're in it. And boy, have they found themselves in a bad situation. Um, you also have, I guess, the villains, uh, Zenny and Tatu, who want to bring about a new Wakanda. And when she arrives on the scene, y'all, it's like she brings a green vibe or mist with her. Everybody's eyes turn green like they possess, kind of bugged out, kind of crazy. Plus, she wears all green. It's, 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 um, it's crazy. Great artwork and great color by the team of Brian Stelfreeze and Laura Martin. As far as, far as the story, it's just warming up. So it's issue one. So we haven't reached the arc yet or, you know... All we really know is the premise and the backdrop. So, you know, with that being said, I, I'll have to give it a, a eight. Um, it's not a 10 for 10 yet because I just don't know where the story is is basically headed. And I'm, I'm a little nervous to drink the Kool-Aid because, you know, he's, he's, he's not a comic book author. You know, he's a cultural critic and uh, a writer of race theory. So I hope, you know, he could hit those points in this comic book. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm anxious to see how he does that, how he mixes race and culture and politics in, in the world of Wakanda. You know what I mean? And into the lives of black Panther and the parties involved. Um, it's going to be a challenge. And let's see if... Uh, Brother Coates is up to it. So I'll say y'all go out and cop this, man. Please. The art is awesome. Uh, it returns some old characters from back in the day. Uh, the Dora Milaje was one of my, my favorite um, uh, females. Um, they're back. Uh, like I said, stepmother Ramona, well, Ram not Ramona, Ramonda. Stepmother Ramonda is there. Um, and... The Black Panther has returned to see his kingdom in disarray. Let's uh, see how he fixes it. If it collapses, what he do with it. And uh, go out and cop yourself an issue, man. All right? Peace and love. One.